In a world in the grip of industrial revolution, Don Bosco, a 19th century Italian priest of humble peasant stock, was chosen by God to be an effective sign and bearer of his love to the world of the young, especially the marginalized. In 1859, Don Bosco founded the Salesian Congregation to continue his passionate mission on behalf of the young. Today, over 15,465 Salesians, including 120 cardinals and bishops, continue his mission in 2,000 centers spread across 130 countries. The Salesian Congregation with its head, the Rector Major, the successor of Don Bosco, leads and animates the Salesian family consisting of 30 officially recognized groups, religious congregations and associations with more than 400,000 members who strive to keep alive the legacy of Don Bosco and continue his mission to the youth. The Salesian province of Bangalore, dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, forms one of the provinces of this worldwide organization. Territorially, the mission of the Sacred Heart Province of Bangalore extends to the two South Indian states of Karnataka and Kerala with missionary outreach to Yemen and Nepal. The province was canonically erected on 19th March 1979. Today, 334 members, 231 priests, 10 brothers, 93 clerics and 12 novices work in 43 centres spread across the states of Karnataka and Kerala besides the four presences in Yemen. The Salesian province of Bangalore stands out for the breadth of its apostolic engagements and the variety of its beneficiaries. Their hearts ablaze with the seal of Don Bosco, the Salesians of Bangalore province dedicate themselves to the service of the most underprivileged children and youth in urban and rural settings. They conduct skill training centers to help the youth earn their livelihood technical schools to offer training in employment-oriented professions, evening and night schools providing supplementary education, regular primary and secondary schools, colleges for imparting higher education, parishes and mission stations, special projects focused on groups such as tribals and fishing communities. There are also individual solutions and groups engaged in policy making and advocacy as members of the government and public bodies. The children on the streets constitute the most vulnerable section of society. Exposed to all the vices and dangers of the street, these children are deprived of their childhood at a very tender age. The YAR, Young at Risk project, caters to these vulnerable youth by providing rescue operations, food and shelter programs, medical care, rehabilitation, and home placement. Those children who cannot be home placed are sent for regular schooling after a bridge course and those incapable of pursuing regular schooling are given non-formal education, both academic and technical. Yet another sector where children are robbed of their childhood and precociously forced into adulthood is that of child labor. The centers that take care of erstwhile child laborers focus on the rehabilitation of those forced into toil in mines, hotels, seed crossing, brick industry, and even forced into beggary. There are a number of institutions, especially in Karnataka, that are dedicated to the rescue and rehabilitation of child laborers, and sometimes even of entire families. We reach out to fisher folk, tribals, and other such disadvantaged sections of society. The average number of children reached out annually through these interventions is around 35,000. Education for us is a means to empower children to become active participants in the transformation of their lives and of society. 
Hence, Don Bosco schools, without being mere learning centers, focus on imparting values, attitudes, and behaviors which enable individuals to learn and live together in a world characterized by diversity and pluralism. The education interventions of the province through evening schools, supplementary education programs, as well as regular colleges and schools reach out to about 24,000 students. Second only to the Central Government of India, Don Bosco Technical Schools, under the banner of DB Tech, networks across the country, imparting quality formal and non-formal technical education. Through our skilling centers, we train around 3,500 youngsters annually to enter the industry as skilled technicians, thus earning a livelihood and living as upright citizens. We are also happy to see those trained in many of our centers emerging as trainers in their turn. Undoubtedly, education is the means for transformation. Undernourishment, absence of primary requirements at home, lack of adequate facilities in the villages are some of the obstacles that hinder children from continuing their studies. Hence, hostels and boardings are found to be a necessity, especially in rural areas, to help these poor youth to have access to and pursue their studies. There are 17 hostels in the province, benefiting about 950 students. A great future is being shaped in these hostels. Mahatma Gandhi used to say that the soul of India is in our villages. Yet, after many years of independence, most of these villages still remain underdeveloped. The multi-pronged community development programs are yet another highlight of the Salesian Ministry to empower the villages. Through a variety of programs such as the organization of self-help groups, child rights clubs, school adoption, young farmers club, creches, supplementary education centers, fork low, cultural activities and other related initiatives, the Salesians reach out to about 250 villages. The Salesians of Bangalore province minister in 22 parishes and mission stations, including those in Yemen and Nepal, and cater to a total of 8,554 Catholic families and about 30,500 faithful. The parish becomes a center of various initiatives to promote the spiritual and human development of the people. The Salesian Youth Centre is at the same time a playground, home, school and parish where the physical, psychological and spiritual needs of the youngsters are taken care of. There are 17 youth centres, 19 oratories and other youth services through which we reach out to about 2,300 youth regularly, making a quality difference in their lives. The youth ministry teams in the two states reach out to about 19,000 youth annually. A new scenario is created in many cities in India by migrant youth. The issues posed by the professional segments and by the casual and unskilled sector need individual attention. The situation of migrant youth has received serious consideration in the recent past and the province 
is in the process of evolving long-term strategies and projects to address their needs. Many of our communities reach out to them, especially with spiritual assistance. The development and expansion of these various sectors of ministry has been possible through the generous support of our benefactors and well-wishers. Like Don Bosco, we trust wholly in divine providence for the means to carry out all our works on behalf of the poor and for the training of our candidates lasting several years. We are ever grateful to everyone who comes forward to join hands with us in this overwhelming mission. We in turn pledge our daily prayers for our beneficiaries and benefactors. Let us work together for and with these youth in creating a better future for all of us, a better society, a better nation and a better world.